Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. Um, I'm coming along here with a uh, this topic I did talk about before, and I gave the definition of the difference between the two. But I just wanted to. Th I got a flyer in the mail, and this is talking about a home service warranty on your different appliances, the different appliances that are found within your home, uh, between heating systems to refrigerators and things. I'm going to read through the list of what they're talking about. There's two different basic coverages. Uh, in this specific plane, they're talking about a maximum coverage of $19,600. And if you get the better one that would cover more items, it also uh, would cover up to $25,200, a maximum payout of coverage on your items per year. Okay, uh, as, as they word it, it's the best value. Uh, so what, what this is, this, this is covering, as I say, that, well, let's, let's talk about a couple. In, in the kitchen, uh, clothes dryer, uh, major kitchen and laundry appliances. Let's read before I can talk, start talking. So clothes dryer, they will allow coverage up to $2,000. Clothes washing machine, up to $2,000. Dishwasher up to three thousand. That's a heck of a dishwasher, three thousand uh, dollars. Built-in microwave, a thousand dollars. Kitchen refrigerator, three thousand dollars. That's also a very nice refrigerator there. Uh, food loss benefit. Okay, if the refrigerator goes, uh, you get the replacement of the refrigerator plus the food spoilage in there. They would pay maximum a hundred dollars. Um, cooking range, oven, stove top. That is up to $3,000. In-sink garbage disposal, up to 500. You get, you know, the things, then major mechanical systems. AC heating unit, up to $4,000. Water heating system, uh, you're looking at 1,500. So that would be your hot water heater, right? Sump pump, $500. Electrical system, up to $1,000. Plumbing, up to $1,000. And then some extra coverage if you have ceiling fans, Garage opener, emergency lodging. I guess it'll be up to six hundred dollars. I'm not sure. Maybe if, if you lost your heater and it, you, you uh, you're freezing there, they would pay up to six hundred dollars. I, I don't know how often that, how many nights you'd be able to get out for that, right? But uh, what what I wanted to mention was that uh, we are um, we do not cover any of this. This is something that is offered out there for the homeowner to cover the different appliances that when they fail can cause damage to the parts of the home which is what we actually cover so this is this is something that would be an additional coverage on your homeowner's policy i'm not getting into selling this you know i'm, I'm not uh, advocating this i'm just trying to tell you that if if, if it were be affordable the ideal situation would be for everyone is to have a comprehensive homeowner's policy, but also have a home warranty policy, which would be by others, and this would cover the damage of the actual unit, stove, hot water heater, things like that, when they fail. As you know, with your insurance policy, when a hot water heater fails, or they, the compressor, the um, um, condensation pump, excuse me, hooked in with your AC unit. If that gets clogged and you get water spilling out over, it's not draining into a wash tub or into some area where it should be diverted and it starts causing damage to a hardwood floor or maybe to a ceiling if it's up in the attic. That's where the homeowner's insurance, that's where I would come in to help you with that type of damage. Where uh, the pump itself is not covered, this coverage would take care of providing protection for that. Uh, the, so the, as I say, you have the two units here. The, the big thing is um, this is for different appliances. Uh, it doesn't look like it's very cheap. You know, as I say, roughly $40 a month or $50 a month. Uh, and I guess as long as nothing happens, you, you do pretty well. And now it does talk about a $75 service call deductible, and it refers to terms and conditions which is not included on this card. So I don't know 
what if there would be an actual deductible on the appliance itself as well uh, or if that $75 is all you're on the hook for um, it, 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 I don't know uh, the point is this is available out there uh, homeowners insurance policy again will protect you when these types of things fail and because they failed they have caused subsequent damage to your home either carpeting ceiling, walls, what have you. This policy actually will cover, this protection will cover the device that actually failed, where the homeowner's policy doesn't cover that. So I wanted to, to just clarify that a little bit. I hope that you found that informative. Uh, if you did, you know, would you give me one of these? And uh, of course, would you share this? And would you please subscribe to my page? Uh, guys, thank you very much for listening. I I hope that uh, this is beneficial to you and I will continue to bring more information to you to help you guys out. Have yourselves a great afternoon and God bless you.